Good day, folks. I'd like to share with you something with the ion valve. A lot of people have been interested in the ion valve lately and how to make it more efficient and sharing some of their own user experiences with that. And with that said, I have other ways of making the ion valve work. And one of them is if you want to drive a Tesla coil with the one wire system, it's a great way of doing it. But I figured out that you can enhance it if you put an x-ray tube in the middle of the ion valve. It acts as an additional source for x-rays. You could use a regular rectifier tube for this, vacuum tube, and it also gives you your spark gap, which is important for Tesla coil-like devices where we just want to use nature to tune our system to a resonant point. What I'm getting at is with the spark gap, the main purpose of this is to introduce these rich, which a lot of people would consider infinite high-frequency harmonics. So with those multitudes of high frequencies it doesn't really matter what your dimensions are on your Tesla coils the environment will automatically tune in other words that coil will ring at the frequency that it's optimized and getting hit at so this is a way of doing it without having to worry so much about you know using a single frequency and the math on just that one frequency and then taking into consideration all your external variables and and the local environment and the humidity level and everything else that could interfere with slight resonant values using the spark gap along with what other many people and experimenters have done solves a big part of that issue you just feed it with unlimited frequencies and the system will just auto scale to whatever frequency it's optimized for so with the spark gap in the uh, ion valve is pretty clever because that concentrates the radiant energy right there the x-ray tube gives you more ionization uh, power through the x-rays um, ionization instead as well with the high voltage so you have more systems working together and this amplifies and increases the output on the ion valve side again it's all about increasing the efficiency without increasing the input trigger so this is just a trick to do that but of course when you start playing with radiation and x-rays there's a lot of caution here and you have to use ethical considerations whether or not you're going to do this experiment in a regular residential home or not so with that said i haven't replicated this on my kitchen table you'll want to have a bit of a lab set up with uh, radiation meters preferably to make sure you're not frying yourself out here but the point is in theory i wanted to share this for the transparency purposes um, but with that said i hate it sometimes because there's always someone that can take a good thing and exploit it and something like this could really if used in the wrong hands you understand could potentially hurt people so um, let's just hope all the bad people aren't watching this and get the wrong idea because what we want to do is actually make the world a better place not a worse one so with that said with great power comes with great responsibility and use the information wisely. I'm sure it could be applicable in certain projects that we're all working on. I'm looking forward to your comments as usual. Thank you very much for allowing me to share this information with you.